Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I want to run you through this fun Sending Sunshine note card. This is the thank you card I sent all of my Stampin' Up! customers who placed orders with me in August. I'm also going to do this card with my local Chicago area stampers on Wednesday, September 20th for a coffee and a card. And if you live in the Chicago area, all adult crafters are welcome to come join for any of my events. All right, let me run you through the Stampin' Up! supplies you need to make this cutie Send in Sunshine note card. I used brand new in the Stampin' Up! holiday catalog, Pick a Pumpkin bundle, which includes the Pick a Pumpkin stamp set and the Pattern Pumpkins Thinlets dies. These can be bundled for a 10% discount right now. I've also used from the annual catalog the Sunshine Scenes stamp set with the little sending greeting. In it and it coordinates with the Sunshine Wishes Sunshine die cut. So I've used the Sunshine Wishes die set. I used my 3D textured impression layered leaves embossing folder on this project and it gives you a great um, three-dimensional texture to the card. My stampin' pads for this project are Cajun Craze, Crumb Cake, pool party and pumpkin pie and the consumable materials you're going to need some linen thread We've got pool party cardstock here it's eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter all the measurements can be found at kitchentablestamper.com there's a printable project sheet and I will link it below the video I've got a couple of pieces of very vanilla. One is five and a quarter by four. Then I've got a couple of scraps out of my scrap bag. You can absolutely use your scraps for this, but a piece that is about two and three quarters by five is sufficient for steaming your pumpkins. I've got a little piece of very vanilla for the sending greeting, and that is a half inch by two inches. I've got more scraps from my scrap bag. This is crumb cake cardstock and crumb cake about one and a quarter by five is sufficient. I've got two scraps. Use up your scraps. Don't cut a new piece. Um, and then I've got a piece of Cajun Craze cardstock here that's one and a quarter by four and a half. All right, the first thing we are going to do here is get stamping. So I'm going to clear this away and get some ink pads. Okay, so I've got my ink pads. We're gonna start with crumb cake and this leaf pattern from Pick a Pumpkin. We're gonna ink that with crumb cake and stamp it on crumb cake. Set that little guy aside. We'll die cut that in a minute. Then we're moving over to pumpkin pie. And I've got this um, tall pumpkin. We're gonna stamp one of those. And then I've got another solid pumpkin here. It's kind of a short squat one. We're going to ink that one up with Pool Party and stamp that one on Berry Vanilla. And then I've got this fun pattern pumpkin. We're going to do that one with Pumpkin Pie also. Sending to the right of center, Cajun Craze. Ta da! All right, so I've got my scissors here. We're gonna trim an angle cut on sending, and then we're gonna get the big shot in here and do some die cutting. Okay, I've got my big shot here, and we're set up for die cutting with the thin die adapter and a cutting pad. And then we're gonna lay all these little bits on our platform here, and hopefully get most of our die cutting done in one pass. I've also got that Cajun Craze piece, and another piece of crumb cake, and let's get some dies. There we go. All right, I've got all my die cutting set up. I'm ready to go here. I'll just put the top on and crank that through, and all my cutting will be done at once. That sunshine word has some little details there, so I'm gonna reverse it and run it back through, just to make sure that that detail word die cuts clean. There it is, a nice clean cut. Okay, now we're gonna switch from die cutting to embossing. So we're gonna get the thin die adapter out 
And with the 3D textured embossing folders, you only need one cutting pad. So that's all we've got there. I've got my five and a quarter by four piece of very vanilla. Pop right in the folder. And then we'll put it directly on the platform with the cutting pad over top and run it through. There it is, look how beautiful. See all the texture there that we get from that folder? Okay, it's time to assemble our card. Let's grab the bone folder and score, or fold on the score. Got my die brush with my more detailed dies right here, so we'll just pop those out using the die brush. Ah, look, there's a little dot for my eye. I don't want to lose that. I'll put that aside. Got my sunshine word. Now I've got two little areas here. I'm just going to use my paper piercer to get those insides out. Now I've got multi purpose liquid glue, and I'm going to take this crumb cake sprig. And that's where I'm gonna kinda start, and I'm gonna build down from there. So I'm just streaking a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue on that sprig. Now if you see, it's about two inches down from center, or from the top, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put down that little sprig. And then I've got the one that we stamped with the crumb cake. Put some multi-purpose liquid glue on that one. And adhere that one down. Then I got my tall pumpkin pie pumpkin. Put that right over the sprigs. And my short pool party pumpkin. Put that one. Overlapping the sprigs in our tall boy here. Then last our little pattern guy. Get him on there. He's going to overlap the tall guy too just a little bit and look kind of like he's rolling away. I like it that way. All right, then we've got our sending greeting and I want to just roll between my thumb and my forefinger. I don't want that little flag to be flat there. I've got my linen thread. This will probably take about eight inches maybe of linen thread. I'm going to wrap and tie a bow. All right, we got a pretty bow there. I'm going to cut off the excess and add the multi-purpose liquid glue on the back of the little flag. And I want to add it to the right and left of the string, but not all the way to the end. We don't want to glue down that little tail we just rolled up. Now we're going to put that right over the bottom of the pumpkins all the way to the left edge and hold on until it grips and adheres. Then we've got our sunshine greeting. I'm just going to hold the very bottom of that and lightly trace behind it with the multi-purpose liquid glue. A little bit will go a very long way. This has got a strong grip. So we've got our multi-purpose liquid glue all on the back of sunshine. We're just going to hold up the little loop of the bow that beginning of the S can flow off of our vanilla embossed paper a little bit. The second S is going to go slightly underneath that tail. The upstairs on the H can touch the pattern pumpkin and that's pretty good placement for that greeting. Now I've got my pool party card base and multi-purpose liquid. On the texture, this is going to hold nicely. Just scribble. Don't go too crazy. You don't want it to ooze out or make your card crispy. Although that's the nice part about the multi-purpose liquid glue because it remains flexible when it's dry so your cards don't get crispy like with other glues. Okay, turn that over and burnish it. When I'm using liquid glue, I like to turn over and burnish. That way if there's a little bit of glue that oozes out anywhere, you don't rub it 
all over your card. It just kind of squishes right out and on your blotter paper that's underneath you. All right, the last little touch here, I've got my little dot here that I've reserved for my eye, and I'm going to add the bittiest dab of glue right above my eye. I'm gonna to touch my paper piercer in that, pick up my dot, and add it into the glue. All right, there it is for Sending Sunshine. I just love this color combination for fall, pumpkin pie, and the Cajun craze with that little surprise of pool party. All right, if you've got any questions about this card, about Stampin' Up!, about my Chicago area stamping events, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching. Now we'll ink up the word sending with Cajun craze, and we're gonna stamp that on this little one half inch strip but we want to stamp it kind of to the right of center. Ah, I stamped it upside down. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to leave it. Forget the blooper reel. Oh, look, my measurements are in the video. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. Stamp my greeting backwards. Post-it notes in the video.